I try to cook as natural as possible. I love to eat and uh, when I lived in Chicago, I had a wonderful girlfriend, Gilda, and uh, we ate together because we were both scuffling flight attendants. And when she married, Richard changed her eating habits. And when he changed her eating habit, he changed my eating habit because we were all still eating together. And they became vegetarians and consequently, I went down that path with them. Up until I left Chicago, I was basically an orthodox vegetarian, but moving back to Memphis, it was difficult because no one in my family was vegetarian. So it came to a point where we had to compromise and my son, which is now 26, I believe, 27, uh, it was different for him because in Chicago, all his friends were vegetarian. We were a family, so we did a lot of things together. Right. But here it was different, so it got to a point where he was slipping to do this, slipping to do that, so I felt that he was stealing to be something else. So I said, okay, if this is what you want to do, then we got to compromise that. So uh, in between, I improvised, and I moved from one thing to the other, but I never went back to eating pork or beef or chicken. Basically, my diet still is vegetarian, but I eat, uh, I love to eat salmon, and that's it. And because I was a daddy's girl, daddy's and I girl. love my daddy, love daddy, and my father loved wild game. He loved rabbit, and as a child, I always ate rabbit with him oh, and oh. biscuits. And his best friend, Mr. Brown, which I found out today passed this morning, okay. He loved coon, so I loved that's eat raccoon, raccoon. 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 That's the but raccoon, it's a clean raccoon. raccoon. <laughs> Raccoons are clean, and they don't eat nothing dead. They eat naturally, like deers. But um, I became a game eater because of my father, mm -hmm. and in honor of my father, and whenever I came home, they always prepared coon, and we drank corn whiskey together. So. You still I, eat coon and drink coon? Uh, no, it's been many years. Uh, my, uh, my father passed on in, I believe, 81, and I visited Mr. Brown every now and then, mm -hmm. and uh, Mr. Brown had got up in age, so okay. I hadn't eaten coon in a long time. Okay. But what? if my father was still living to this day, I would, out of love and respect for who my father was to in my life, I would eat some coon and drink some corn and drink some corn whiskey because I loved him that much. Coon and corn whiskey. It was a wonderful thing with some candy yams too. That was good living.